one. And yes, a clear indication that he's definitely putting his foot down because Kitwara has been dropped. Still running okay. He's the fourth fastest in the world this year. But Tedese is the man with number one by his name. Not only the defending champion, but the world record holder as well. And now he's injecting the pace that is causing the others to suffer. That's Silas Kipruto. He was there in contention for such a long time. And where there were three Kenyans ready to work together, now there is just one, and his name is Wilson Kiprop. He is the sixth fastest athlete in the world this year at this distance. He is genuinely world class, but so too is the Eritrean Zerzane Tedese. They're running just outside 60 minute pace, I think, and Kiprop is still there. He won the African Championship over 10,000 meters in Nairobi. He's the Kenyan champion. He won the Paris Half Marathon this year. But it is going to take the best performance of his career so far to deny Zerzane Tedese a fifth successive gold medal in this event. On his way, the Eritrean, to becoming the most decorated athlete in the history of this event. Remember, locked together up until today with Tegla Larupe with eight medals. He is going to make it nine, but will it be gold or silver? Two different styles, two different sizes of athletes. Kiprop's looking over. Once, twice he's glanced at Zerzane Tedese and he's just pulled alongside him to say, hey, I know you're a four-time champion, but I'm the African king over 10,000 meters and I believe I've got the pace over the closing stages to put Kenya one and Eritrea two. Tucks in behind again now. But that was a little psychological move on the Eritrean. Not only pulling alongside, but looking directly at him on several occasions. Coming up to the turn now. They're just about to hit the 19 kilometer point. And still the tall, <laughs> loping, gliding Kenyan is there Tedese much smaller rocks around from side to side with his technique and he is going to have to produce another moment of magic here the Kenyan is still there Tedese hasn't had the perfect build-up this year. Of course, he broke the world record in Lisbon, but he was seventh with his London Marathon effort in April, and he was disappointed with that. He had to drop out of the Bogota Half Marathon in the summer, but he went back to his training base. He splits his time between Madrid and Eritrea, he went back to his training base and said he wanted to focus on the big one, which for him was defending his title and making it five in a row. But look at Wilson Kiprop, the Kenyan now with a one or two yard advantage. We're looking at Kitwara in third place. Just wonder whether the Kenyan is picking up a bit of momentum again. He looks okay, doesn't he? Obviously went through a bad patch when Kiprop and Tedese up the pace, but Kitwara is in bronze medal position at the moment. But the last glimpse we had of the two leaders was that Wilson Kiprop had just taken 
a couple of yards ahead of Tedesse. Now they're side by side once again. Tedesse moving across to his left hand side. Not liking the fact that the Kenyan was shoulder to shoulder with him. Now he zigzags back in. We saw him do this when he won the Great North Run a few years ago. And he's really starting to hurt Wilson Kiprop. The Kenyan just glanced over to his left to see what Tedesse was doing. And now they're side by side once again. Are we about to see an end to this impressive dominance that Serzane Tedesse has imposed on this event since 2006? We've seen him cope with humidity before, winning the World Cross Country Championships in Mombasa. We've seen him come through tight finishes before when he beat Patrick Macau of Kenya in 2007 by three seconds in Udin. And once again, it is a Kenyan threatening his dominance. Every single time he's won this title, it is a Kenyan who has finished in second place. Will it be the same once again? That's Kitwara. He's in third at the moment. But still, Kiprop and Tedesse are locked together. Inside a kilometre to go now, they're closing in on Wuzhang Square. And the result of this race is still very undecided. Who will want it most? Tedesse going for five in a row. Kiprop, African champion over 10,000 metres, but this would be another big marker in his career. And he will be aware that it has been a Kenyan who has lost out to Tedesse for the last four years. What a moment it would be for him. We're watching the back of Sami Kitwara. He's in third place at the moment. What a moment it would be for Kiprop if he could end the Eritrean's dominance and become his country's first champion in six years. The Eritrean kicks again and still the taller figure loping behind him responds. Well inside the last kilometre now. There they are, just obscured by the clock on the race car. And Tedesse is trying to break the spirit of the Kenyan. Has Kiprop got anything with which to respond? He's still there, looking at the Eritrean, trying to work out if he can summon something over the closing stages. This is getting tight. It's going to come down to a real tear up here and Kiprop the Kenyan looks good. They're both world class over 10,000 meters. And at the moment, try as he might, Tedesse is not shaking off the tall shadow of the Kenyan. They're still neck and neck coming into the finish. This is going to be so, so close. They're both exhausted and it's Kiprop. Wilson Kiprop is coming away. The first Kenyan champion for six years and he has broken the spirit of the Eritrean who has dominated this race since 2006. Tedesse is limping as Kitwara comes across in third place. There was a hint of a limp at about 15 kilometers and try as he might, Zerzane Tedesse 
just could not get away from Wilson Kiprop. And the African champion over 10,000 meters is now the champion of the world over the half marathon distance out here on the streets of Nanning in China. We said that Tadesse may have a problem and indeed it transpired he did. How close he came to making it five in a row.